Okay, I've done a little bit more tweaking on the car. I want to make some adjustments to the suspension and see if I can um, help it keep the front wheels a little bit lower on the ground. Um, as you can see here, they still get up quite high, but the car's not rolling. I have made some adjustments to my track and there's a low section across there now which allows the truck to get across there but some serious angles. Um, it's a lot more fun and as you can see through some of these videos um, it seems to be getting through there okay um, despite the fact that it is getting a, uh, one wheel lofted up in the air and getting through there. The cantilever suspension doesn't seem to be affected it too badly. Um, I mean, I can get everywhere where my friend's trucks get, and I can get beyond. Um, so I think it's there's not a negative, that's for sure. Um, it does make it a little bit slower getting through some of these areas sometimes when that front wheel gets up too high. So I'll keep pushing, then obviously it will roll over. But if I just take my time, and then the front wheel comes back down again, and there you go. It's just, those rear wheels seem to keep driving it. You know, they've got um, constant contact on the, on the rocks. And I mean, you got to, the angles are awesome. They look, they look great. It's great fun driving. I love it. Um, and as I said, gets through there. But you do have to slow down a little bit in some of those spots. But then again, that also makes it look realistic. There's plenty of weight on those wheels. Suspension moves around. Get all the articulation. Tends to look more real than some of these rock crawlers that bounce around, which make them look like toys. I guess that's my main aim. I'm trying to get the truck to make it look or perform as realistically as it can. And that's particularly in the suspension area. That's where a lot of times these trucks lack. They just bounce around across the rocks, look like a toy. I mean, if you watch real cars and they um, go across the rocks like this, they, they do get the wheel lofting up in the air. Probably not as much as what this does. <laughs> and I'm using um, the pot plant back there as a bit of a rebound. A bit unfair, but it's there when I used it. It's so nice watching the suspension working like that. It really is. This is a new section I'm building at the moment. Can you see the cantilever working? Coming up on the rock there. That is one of the um, other issues. If the rear suspension drops down into a hole, the um, axle can hang up. The way around it is to make sure one of your wheels rides over the highest point and you can avoid that. And that's the same with any truck. Drop nice and slow over it, and it does it very well. Thanks for watching.